Hey y'all, John Paul here again, and I'm gonna do another one of our guitar tutorials. Um, the second most requested song was Once and Future Queen. You start with your capo at the sixth position if you tune your guitar down a whole step like I do. Most people don't. So if you, if you tune in standard, you'll be at the fourth position. You're going to start in an E minor shape. So I'll play the intro first. and pull-offs and if you don't know what those are anytime that you play a note and then fret the note without playing it a second time that's a hammer-on so like, that's a hammer-on and then pull-offs are when you play a note and you pull off of the string so there's a lot of that going on in this song um, so the first chord you're going to play I don't know what it is and I love that a lot of you got a kick out of the fact that I don't know what the chords are that I'm playing. Sometimes I just hear stuff in my head and I seek it out and I memorize it. Or I'll see somebody else play something or I'll learn someone else's song and it just becomes part of my vocabulary. But I don't know what this chord is. But it's pretty. So um, I also learned that the sixth string is this low string and the first string is the high string. So I'm learning as I go on doing these tabs. So open sixth string, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, fourth fret. But you're gonna hammer on this uh, fourth string. And what I'm doing with my right hand, and we'll 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 show that more later, but it's almost all thumb and then rake with my fingertips. And uh, Justin Towns Earl does that much better than I do, but it's a, it's a hybrid of what he does. So it's... So you're going to hammer on and then pull back off. Now you're going to hammer on the second string, or sorry, the fifth string, up to the fourth fret. So you're going to go. That's going to be a fifth string, second fret, fourth fret, open fourth string, second fret, fourth string. And then back your thumb to the fourth fret fifth string now we're going to go third fret fifth string and then fourth string we're going to hammer on to that fourth fret again so second fret fifth string and you're going to hammer on the fourth string to the first fret and then you'll go back to the E minor and you're going to walk down on the sixth string three two one that's it so really slowly now jump I'll come out on this hand really slow from the top. And as you 
noticed, I left out a note for you. So there's a, on the very last chord uh, structure, it does a, and then it hammers on to that second fret on that fourth string as well. So it's. do that if you want sometimes I do and sometimes I don't which is in that E minor I do a hammer on on the fifth string second fret that kind of thing hammer on hammer pull it off um, I change it and play it differently every night so use that as you wish um, all right now you can show my right hand John Paul uh, and keep in mind this is going to be a lot simpler than black leaf was finger picking putt wise but it'll it might take you a second to just get the pattern because i go down and i pull up and things like that on that walk down of the three two one walk down if you with this hand I'm doing a three thumb and then the first finger goes to the fourth string open all right you can zoom back out there um, so that's how the verse works um, That's how the intro actually works. So once I start singing, I don't play all of the different notes. So once you get through the intro and you get to the Someone's gonna hold your hand and everything will click Touch you in some unknown way that finally does the trick Here's the walk Where you meant to be, someone, but someone won't be me. And that's that, as I did in Black Leaf. That's that B7 shape, but I don't, I don't bother playing the, the first string on it. I just leave it open. And you can go back through that and do the exact same thing again for the second half of the verse. Um, now we're up to the chorus, I guess you'd say. There's that hammer on pull off. That's okay. So we're going to an A minor and I'm doing those hammer ons again with the second string first fret and the walk will be the exact opposite of the, of the walk down this time it'll be that's okay so you're going to do a walk here with uh, your pinky of the bass line so there's your a minor shape you're going to hit the top you're going to hit the sixth string to the fifth string so it's So it's, that's okay, I never really loved you anyway. All right, so, and there's one thing that will change there, is I'll do a, um, so it's, pinky on the third fret fifth string and then second fret and then the open low string so 
So let's do it from the top. That's okay. partial C chord in you know relation to the capo that's third fret fifth string second fret fourth string the rest of it's open slide up a whole step for the next chord all right so come up close to my left hand first John Paul and I'll play that whole chorus and that's okay I never really loved you anyway At least not unconditionally to our intro. All right, before I show you that lick that goes into the next verse, John Paul, let's do right hand on that. Kind of mimicking what a uh, you can zoom out now, John Paul. You, there's uh, it's kind of like a mandolin shot kind of thing. So there's lots going on percussion wise, and so this song is always a lot of fun to play by yourself because there's a lot going on and it feels like there's a band there when it's just you. Uh, again, like I said in the last video, I'm, I tend to write songs that way so that they're interesting with just me. Um, all right. Now here's the lick that goes into that second verse. That's it. All right, moving on. I'm just kidding. Uh, John Paul, go ahead and move in here to my left hand. So what I'm going to do is, with my thumb playing the fifth string, I'm going to go... It's easier than it sounds. So you're going to... So it's a hammer-on, but it's with three notes. So you're just gonna play with your thumb on the fifth string. So you just gotta do them in quick succession. And then with my first finger, I play the open note, which is the fourth string, and then go back the way I came, and then low note. So it's... So I'll do the slow version first. Sorry. Here's the quick version. That's how it works. Um, 
um, the next verse is the same as the first. Next chorus is saying um, at the end of the second chorus. Um, that's okay. I let you never really love me anyway. To meet me halfway. Well, that's going to change a little here. have to do that but this time around I don't just do the diamonds I do kind of a and I use my third finger to go and do the root note on the third fret of the bottom string so it's that's up to you and then from that point you go to a six minor well it's not a six minor It's not a six minor, but it's an A minor. Um, so we'll walk. And now we're going to walk through the progression. So it's. slower. So you start with an A minor, move your second finger to the uh, fifth string, second fret, pinky on the third fret, fifth string, then you're going to play open on the fourth string, and then you'll go to the low string, to the third fret, second I mean the fifth string open and then you start it all over again so it's and you notice that my first finger and my third finger never move from where they start these will move but those will stay where they are and then you can do those chops you get that to ring out so everybody moves and you're at the low note in an E minor shape change your second finger to the second fret but this guy third finger he does not move and then the pinky on the third fret that guy still doesn't move open string he's still not moving finger this hand you remember you're coming out of the chorus Only all right you can show right hand this time John Paul To a third chorus it's just like the first one and you play um, the intro again that's the end of the song so I um, hope that wasn't too ridiculously complicated and that it shed a little light on how I play this song um, comments are greatly helpful for me feel free to uh, 
So let me know little things that could be that could make your life a little bit easier, and um, I'll try to you know I'll try to amend on the fly, and, and these will get better and better. But uh, like I said last time, these are fun. Um, I've in, I've enjoyed it, and I'm really glad that people care and want to know how to play them. Um, and it's um, it's more enjoyable than I thought it would be. So um, to the next one.